In this tutorial, we'll take a look at three different formulas, count, count A, and count F. Let's begin with our spreadsheet that we have. Let me zoom in just a tad. So in this first one here, uh, first cell that I've clicked in, uh, C11, we'll use the count command. So I'm just going to do equals, count, open parentheses, and I'm going to click and drag uh, to make the range that I want to count, and close parentheses. So it tells me that there are five uh, cells that have data in them. Well, now let's take a look at count if, oh, excuse me, count A. Equal, count A, open parentheses, come up, close parentheses, it is the same thing, and then of course equals count if, and for the count if I need to give it a range and a criteria. So I'm going to say if it's larger than 3,900. In order to say that, I need to do quote, greater than 3,900, end quote, in parentheses, and it gives me four. So it looks, uh, from all appearance, count and count A are exactly the same, but they're not. So let's take a look. Count is going to count uh, everything that is not blank. So you notice now there's four here and four uh, for count A. But what if here I put a space instead of a, a, a number? Let me hit enter. And notice count uh, only counts the cells that have numbers or text in it. Count A, uh, excuse me, count only counts the cells uh, with t uh, numbers in it. Count A is going to count cells that have numbers, text, formulas, uh, any content in them. And then of course the count if will follow the same rules uh, <clears throat> as, as we specified. So these are three that you might find handy if you're using uh, in a large spreadsheet. Whether you want it to uh, count blanks or not count blanks, uh, if you want it to count based on a certain number, or if you say, I don't care what's in the cell, if there's anything in the cell, I want it to count it. So hopefully count, count A, and count if uh, can help you as you're working in a spreadsheet.